Welcome to our second paperless tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to customize fields. We'll also go on a tour of paperless and talk about smart views and scanning and importing files. Let's get started. Paperless uses a standard Mac interface with the menu bar at the top and the toolbar directly below it. On the toolbar, there are a series of buttons. The scan button scans an item into the paperless inbox. The Scan Multi button scans multiple items to separate files. The New Item button allows you to create a new document in Paperless. An example of this would be to create a receipt for the money that you spent on a taxi but forgot to get a receipt. The next two buttons allow you to see a document within Paperless or by using the system's quick view. The Email button sends the currently highlighted document via email. The next group of buttons allow you to see information in various views. The grid view, the list view, the cover flow view, and the reports view where you can customize the reports in a variety of ways. To the left is the views area. The library view shows the entire contents of your library. The Inbox view displays the documents requiring processing. The next set of views provide you with a view of your documents which have been entered as of a particular day or within a specific date range. The views directly below display a list of contacts, documents, and receipts. In the lower left-hand corner of the screen are a series of buttons. The Add button allows you to add a new collection. The gear button displays a quick list of menu items from which you can select. The calendar button, when clicked, shows the dates on which items have been added to your library. The details pane to the right displays the details for the currently selected document. A document stays in the inbox until you process it. Entering the information and then clicking on the Done button removes it from the list of unprocessed documents. Let's talk about some practical uses for paperless. One of the great things about paperless is the ability to facilitate the scanning and storing of receipts and documents as well as other types of files. For instance, you might be into construction and you might want to store all of your receipts, blueprints, change orders, and vendor contact information. You might be a mom who wants to keep track of all the family medical records. You might also want to just organize your receipts for your home and business so that you're organized for tax time. The options are endless. Take some time to brainstorm about how you want paperless to work for you. This next section is all about how to create information that will be useful for you in paperless. The details area is made up of a series of fields and you can enter the information in a variety of ways. Now we've come up with some suggested fields for you but you might want to add or change some fields to make the information more meaningful. To do that, access the library configuration area by either pressing Command L on your keyboard or from the View menu, choose Show Library Configuration. This is the library configuration area. The first area deals with document types, and in the document types you'll see Contact, Document, and Receipt. To add a document type, click the Add button in the lower left-hand corner enter the new document type, and then hit your Enter or Return key. To delete document types, highlight the document type and hit the Delete or Minus button. Now if we click on any of the document types, a list of the available fields appear in the middle column, and the fields that will be displayed in the Details area are listed in the Displayed Fields column. You're not just limited to those fields, however. Let's click on the Custom Fields tab. This is a list of the custom fields. To add a custom field, click the Add button, give your field a name, and then choose the field type you'd like to use. Now while we're here, let's talk about the Autofill area. The Autofill area allows you to create default information for each of the custom fields. First, highlight the custom field, then click the Add button. Now let's add a custom field to the Display fields. Click on the Document Types tab. Next. Drag your custom field over to the Display Fields column. You can drag and drop the fields in any order that you wish. 
In the Default Fields tab, you can add values to appear in the corresponding pull-down menus. You can add these values in the Details area as well, and they will automatically be added to these lists. Finally, let's talk about the Payments area. It's important that if you're going to store receipts and export the information into a program such as Quicken, that you not only have the payment method listed, but also have the type of payment method, so don't forget to choose that from the pull-down menu in the Type column. Now there's only one way out of the library configuration and it will save all the information you've either added or changed, and that's by clicking the Done button. Alright, so let's talk about processing files. Let's start with scanning. Over on the toolbar to the left you'll see two buttons, Scan and Scan Multi. To perform a simple scan, load your document into the scanner according to your manufacturer directions and then click on the Scan button. Follow any prompts with your scanner software to complete the scan. Your scanned image will appear in the View area, and the View area can be displayed in four different ways. The Grid view, the List view, the Cover Flow view, and the Reports view. Now let's go over to the Details view. This is where you'll enter the information in the various fields. At the top of the Details area, you'll see an Inbox label and the Done button. Now just like you have an inbox on your desk where all of your physical paperwork stays visible until you handle it, the same holds true for this virtual inbox. Once you enter the information and click the Done button, the inbox label, the blue header, and the Done button will disappear. To see a closer view of the scanned image, either double-click on it or highlight it and either click the Open button on the toolbar or the Quick Look button. Importing documents is easy. From the File menu, choose Import. Select the file or files that you want to import. Decide if you want to import multiple files as a single document or have Paperless delete the original file after importing, and then finally click the Import button. Now let's talk about collections. Collections come in two flavors. One of the flavors is a basic collection, your basic file folder. Clicking on the plus or add button at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen adds a new collection. Give your collection a name. Locate the items you want in the collection. And then drag and drop the items into the collection. Now, Smart Collections allow you to filter your inbox by a certain set of parameters, such as all receipts grouped within a certain date range or by a particular vendor. Let's create a new Smart Collection. Down at the bottom, click on the gear icon and choose New Smart Collection. Now, give your Smart Collection a name. Enter it in the corresponding field. Now, this is where the fun part comes in add the parameters of the qualifiers. Let's say I wanted to find out how much money I spent on movies at the AMC. First, we need to select a field we want to match. We only want to bring up receipts, so we'll choose data type, and in the next row column, we'll add the qualifier. We're looking for an exact match, so we'll use the is qualifier, and then choose receipt from the pull-down menu. Click the add button to add a new parameter. And since the title could be AMC or AMC theaters, we'll use the contains qualifier and then add the title equal to AMC. Finally, click the OK button. You can get more detailed with Smart Views using date ranges, category, and subcategory types. Use your imagination. OK, so that's it for this tutorial. For more information, consult the Help section. You can also check out our knowledge base online email us with any questions, or find us on iChat. We're ready to help. For now, though, make it a paperless day.